electricity. Everyone uses it. You use it when you turn on the light, you use it to cook, you're even using it to watch this video right now. A large portion of the world's electricity is generated in a power plant using nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is when a nucleus of a larger atom splits into nuclei of smaller atoms, releasing a lot of energy in the process. But how was this discovered? Nuclear fission was discovered by Otto Hahn in 1938, who later went on to win the Nobel Prize in 1944. However, that wasn't the full story. Without the contributions of Lise Meitner, our unsung hero of science, this wouldn't have been possible. Lise Meitner was born on November 7, 1878 in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In 1901, the then 22-years-old Lise Meitner attended a physics degree at the University of Vienna and graduated with a PhD in physics in February of 1906. She became the first ever full-time female physics professor in Germany and later went on to join Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann in their research on radioactivity. But sadly, she lost her position as a professor due to her Jewish heritage and had to seek refuge in foreign lands. Despite having to escape to Sweden, she continued the research by keeping contact with Hahn and Strassmann through letters. Then after many, many years of research, the miracle happens. Hahn and Strassmann found what they thought to be a form of barium among the decay products of uranium. However, they weren't able to fully explain why this was. Suspecting that the experiment was flawed, they turned to Meitner in hopes of an explanation. Meitner, with the assistance of her nephew Otto Fritsch, were able to publish a theoretical explanation for the process with a proof that uranium actually splits, something that would have been regarded as a mistake by Hahn and Strassmann, ultimately completing the theory of nuclear fission. The discovery of nuclear fission was a product of both chemistry from Hahn and Strassmann's side and physics from Meitner and Fritsch's side. Without one another, the discovery would not have been possible, so when it comes down to contribution, Meitner was just as important as others, and surely should also be recognized as one of the pioneering scientists of the 20th century.